Hello, reformers, and welcome to a special feature of the 1776 American Revolution mod for Warband. So yes, that is a rather long intro, I must admit. And now, we will start a new game and see what this mod has in store for us. This is requested by one of you, I believe. And we will also be doing another special feature that I will hopefully get down to sooner rather than later. So yes, as you can see, welcome to 1776 American Revolution, a mod by Gabriel Duro. I do apologize if my pronunciation is absolutely terrible, which it most likely is. A new country is born, the United States of America. And then he states that you cannot recruit all of the NPCs, and to say no and everything. So, please bear in mind, this is still in development, and we can only hope that... Everything works out while I am frapsing it, so yes, there we go. Let's continue. Assemble all of them? No, I do not want to do that. Okay, continue. Welcome, adventurer. Before beginning the game, you must create your character. Remember that in the traditional 18th century society depicted in the game, war and politics are usually dominated by male members of the upper classes. That does not, however, mean that you should not choose to play a female character, or one who is not of noble birth. Upper-class males of European descent may have a somewhat easier start, but women commoners and Native Americans can attain all of the same goals, and in fact may have a much more interesting if more challenging early game. If you select Indian Warrior as your father, your character will be a Native American Indian. You cannot change your race or gender once you start the game. Okay, well, we will be a male for this, of course, and I think... We may want to choose to be a veteran soldier. I don't know, really. An impoverished member of the gentry. Maybe that would be a good idea. I don't know. Okay, well, that is nobility, so I think we will go for a soldier. Okay, that seems fine. Okay, so let's see. What did we spend our early life as? I believe we will go for an educated debutante. Oh, dear. <laughs> And then we will go for a soldier. There we are. And now we want to go for the loss of a loved one. Why not? And become an adventurer. Let's do that. Okay. And I think we'll go for realistic. I don't really think it matters too much, considering we are doing a special feature here. And now we do have quite a lot in charisma, which is very nice indeed. So... Maybe I should get a little bit more in leadership. I don't know. I think that would probably be fine to leave it as it is. But I think what we will want to do is get some horse archery. Yes. For our rifles and so forth. And I think we will then get long guns quite a bit because I would like to use a rifle in this. It seems to be the most 1776 oriented weapon, or at least I would like to think so. And let's see what else are we going to do here. Riding? I don't think we really need that, do we? Hmm. Let's go for one in prison management, and then we'll decide what else we want. I think intelligence would probably help us out quite a bit. And as such, I think we'll go for two in inventory management, just because I really hate running out of space in my inventory. So, for our name, I will be going for a very standardized name and it will be reformist yes i realize that this is <laughs> very standard indeed but i have not actually called any of my characters in any of the series i've currently done after myself so i thought well why not we may as well go for something like this and it seems to be rather fitting considering this is an american revolution although i am of course not american so maybe it is a little bit odd but we'll just have to roll with it won't we yes let's go Okay, so we will be going for the default, because I don't believe I can actually make a face that is better than this one, at least at the moment. I think I would need a little bit more time to be able to do that. And now, I think what we will do is start in British Canada, because we are British, or at least I am, and I think that would probably be the greatest thing to do. Yes, let's do that. Okay, so we will just ignore all of this because this is actually still native speak. And now, here we go. We have spawned into the game on our little canoe. And look at this, look at that sunset. I believe it is sunset at least. Oh no. Confusion already. Okay, so we have a rather spiffing looking sword and our 
hair is amazing, of course. And now we will attempt to shoot this fellow down. Oh no. Let's dodge. Yes, there we are. And now shoot him point blank range. Do 40 damage and then let's draw. Oh my goodness. That is a little bit too much damage for you. How dare you. Okay, so, ooh, we're actually gaining extra experience because of our intelligence. Well, maybe I should have specced into a little bit more intelligence for increased XP. That's very nice indeed. Okay. So, yes, now he is asking us if we are all right, of course. And now we see a lot of rifles and such on the walls. But, of course, this is still in development, so many of the scenes are still unfinished. So, here we go. We've always had brigands in the hills, driven to banditry by war debt or love of violence. And they kidnapped his brother. No, we must attempt to rescue him. Reformist does not look very happy at all at that proposition. <laughs> okay, so we will be exiting Montreal. And as you can see, we already have a few looters outside. Okay, so I think what we will be doing is heading to Charlemagne and hopefully being able to recruit a few volunteers. Yes, we get one British loyalist. Recruit them. Very nice. Okay, so we already have a horse. Let's actually just take a look at our inventory. As you can see, we have a Jaeger rifle. Now, I would really like to be able to use this. Let's just take a look at the speed rating and everything. Okay, so that is a musket. I'm not entirely sure why you'd use a musket. I suppose it could be... Hmm. It's exactly the same, apart from a little bit worse speed rating. Okay, so we are going to be using that. Oh, wait. Oh no, does this work with musket? I hope so. Okay, that should be okay. I would only assume so anyway. Now let's just see here. 72, that's a carbine. That is 61. No, that's fine. Okay, so sway-backed merchant horse. I suppose what they like to do is give you quite a few things so that you can mix and match and decide what you want to look like. As you can see, we now look like a continental infantry officer. And I think we'll be continuing along that line for now at least, and that seems all good. Yes, I think that's great. We already have some fish as well, so that's all good. Now, let's try to head to, I'd like to head to another British Canada place, so we'll head to St. John, and oh no. Okay, we're having some issues here already, oh no. Pathfinding, don't fail me now, and I've just realized I don't have any pathfinding, of course, so it would be a really good idea if we could get in here. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, there's two. Another two, so we have three troops under our command so far. Now I'd like to head to the villages near Quebec, and hope that I don't run into any other rather unscrupulous characters. You never know. I think seeing as I am moving, it would be a rather good idea to have a look at the map, but the only unfortunate thing is is that I would not like to be beset upon by any evildoers, as it were. So I think we will be doing that once we arrive at this village here. So let's speed it up a little bit. There we are, okay. So, let's recruit our volunteers. Okay, another one, very nice. Okay, so let's take a look at the map. Now, this is a very impressive looking map, I must admit. Okay, so as you can see, we have Quebec, we have Montreal, and then we have Boston, New York, Philadelphia even, Baltimore, Richmond. Wow. Oh my goodness, this is a huge map, as you can see. Look at that. I can only imagine what more they could add. Oh, wow, look at this. This is amazing, and I've just realized that I actually have this upside down. We probably want to turn this around so that it is a little bit more geographically correct. As you can see, Havana we have down here. This is a lot better, as you can see. Now we know what's going on with the locations of certain cities, and that seems very nice indeed, as you can see. Look at this. Wow. This is very large indeed. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Gaston's Trapper's Village. Aha. Okay, so where are we now? We are here, aren't we? Yes. Okay, so we're at the very top of the map, at least in this orientation. So let's head over here to this village and hopefully be able to gain yet another recruit. Oh, maybe not. Apparently no one wants to join us. That is rather insulting to say the least. Okay, so I think what I might do now is head into Quebec and actually 
try to recruit a few people from the tavern. That might be a good idea as well. Ooh, there's a tournament going on. This might be a really good idea. So let's just have a look here to see what is going down. We have a gunsmith. We have a mercenary dragoon. Ah, I would really like to take those guys. But as you could see, we couldn't afford it, unfortunately. Okay. I would like to look at your rifles. Oh no, 30 shillings a piece. Oh. Ah yes, the rifle reformist. Hard to load, but in the right hands, a carefully aimed shot can take out a commander with a mere flash. I offer a custom-made shortened and easier to load. It was made in Britain, Dutch sword, and rarely misses in the hand of a marksman. I also have a Hanoverian model, which you can even load on horseback, and some rare British Ferguson rifles. They are breech loading and are almost as fast as a pistol. 30,000. Actually, cancel that order. Yes, that is for sure. Okay, so let's actually speak to Celeste La Rouge, or La Rogue, depending on, of course, your particular persuasion. So, what do you want? She asks. Okay, so here we go. I can offer you opportunities to make money through good, honest fighting and pillaging. Well, technically, this has not been changed from native, unfortunately, but... I think she will be a good fit for our army if she actually <laughs> didn't require any particular money. Oh, uh, well, okay. Ooh, yes, you can actually hire troops here, as you can see. Hire unique troops. Wow, this is cool. Okay, so hire marines, sailors, and merchant guards. Hire villains, cutthroats, and looters. And hire exceptional mercenaries. There are also unique units, pages 1 to 4. Let's go here and take a look. Wow, you can actually recruit quite a few, as you can see. Okay, I think we will go for these guys. Now, the cool thing about this mod is that it does not seem to recognize that you don't have the cash for this particular menu. So, of course, as I have stated before, this is still in development, so we don't really need to worry about cash so much. So I will take five of those guys. And maybe we'll take a look at some exceptional mercenaries. Let's get five mercenary dragoons, why not? That might be quite nice. And how about some villains? We can get some native raiders? No, I don't think that's worth it, really. How about some marines? French marines? British marines? Yeah, let's go for some British marines, why not? That seems cool. Okay, so let us now head into the trade. And there is some whiskey already, oh yes. What would we be without whiskey and tobacco and some rum as well? We got some corn here too. Very nice. We have zero shillings, of course, because we have spent it all on the rather extravagant units. But I don't believe we really need to worry about that as yet. As you can see, we have quite a few wonderful armor pieces here. There's even a dress that we can get if we so desire, of course. And there are some bandanas if you so desire to roleplay as a Native American Indian. Very nice indeed. I like that. And I do not want to go to the bank because I have no money, of course. So let us head to... Not the Guildmaster, but we might actually want to take a job. Aha! I have a cargo of wine that needs to be delivered to the tavern. If you can take six units of wine to this particular town in seven days, you may earn 370 shillings. What do you say? I will make the delivery. Yes, I will. Thank you very much. Okay, so now let us head back into the marketplace and take a look at the arms that you can get. Aha! Grenades. And, oh my, that is an amazing rifle. Oh, wow. Okay. Very nice. A Cherokee bow as well. You can get some throwing axes, Indian bow, an English dragoon pistol. Aha. Wow. Looking really good so far. And I mean, this is in development. And it's looking really, really good already. As you can see, we have the wine in our inventory. So we will be heading out very shortly. So, I think what I will be doing though, before that is attempting to win this tournament. If we can win this tournament, then we will not have to worry about money for the rest of this special feature, which would be very nice indeed. So, I cannot actually bet any money. <laughs> ah, that is 
a rather difficult result. Okay, let us fight in the next round and actually attempt to get some cash as it is. So we do have a dagger, and it seems as though this might actually not be very finished just yet. So I do apologize if you do see any bugs. Okay, we do have one guy on our team. This is actually a very cool looking tournament area. As you can see, Zarina is currently absolutely slaughtering everyone else. Okay, so... Oh my, okay. Oh, wow. I am actually a little bit confused about where I'm supposed to head to. <laughs> wow. It's actually really impressive. This is such a huge tournament area. I can only imagine what it must be like when it's finished. Go on, slash them up. Let's just take out one at least. I cannot block with this dagger. No. No. I must win. No. If only I had some ammo. That would be amazing. Oh, it seems as though Zarina's going to take me down, though. That is rather a shame, I must admit. Ah, damn. Yes, it seems as though the tournaments are not exactly finished, so I think what we might want to do is withdraw from the tournament. Although, we could try for one more time and see whether we get some ammo. Yes, we do have some ammo now. So we may be able to finish off a few of these... Okay, maybe not. <laughs> yes, I'm pretty terrible at shooting, of course. Is this guy actually after us? Yes, he is. Oh, no. No! I have a rifle to fight with. Come on. Let's fight with this rifle. Oh, actually, I cannot fight with this rifle, apparently. So we just need to shoot this guy. Yeah, that's what you get. Okay. So now, let's get in here and reload, if possible. Come on. Reload. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness, it takes a long time. Okay, so we have a knife, and we have a pistol, and we have a rifle. Okay, so that's a lot better than we had previously. We might be able to pull out a victory here. Of course, we have a bunch of people trying to shoot at others up there. And this is the tournament master. What's he doing down here? Hello! Are you going to help me? No, I don't believe so. Okay. So, let's head... Wow, okay, I think this might be rather unfinished, which is unfortunate, but... I will attempt to take this fellow down, if possible. Yes, 39 damage. Come on, reload for me. Thank you very much. Oh, no. He's going to take me down. Oh, no, maybe not. I'm just hoping that we can take him down. This is how it used to be. They used to miss a lot in these days. Bear in mind that I am no historian and far from an expert on history, so if I have any details incorrectly stated, then do forgive me. So, I think we should head over there to that tower and take this fellow down. I believe he is the last of this round, and then I think we may want to withdraw and potentially do a few bandit fights, because... We do have the units to be able to take on a few now. And it would be quite nice to be able to rescue the merchant's brother as well. Of course, I really do want to show you everything the mod has to offer. And I mean, of course... Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> that was a very swift and quick defeat, wasn't it? Okay, well, yes, as I was saying, I do want to show you everything the mod has to offer, albeit it may be a little unfinished, so just bear that in mind, of course. I am merely trying to bring it to your attention, so if you do indeed want to follow the development of this mod, then you can do so. There is a link in the description to the download for it, so you can try it out for yourself, of course. So now we have 20 of our own troops in our battalion, I suppose we could call it, and now we will head back to Montreal and speak to the merchant and hopefully get into a battle with a few looters and bandits. That would be very nice indeed. Let's go. Pirate flag bearer. Ooh, that's new. Okay, so let's head in here and go to the tavern, I believe it is. Yes. French pianist. Hello. A loyalist of militia veteran as well. And here is René Dupont. Yeah! 
He seems very happy to see us, that is for sure. Okay, very well, I shall hunt for bandits. Aha, what is it you do? I compose and write songs for the lords of the land and their ladies. Sometimes I sing about war, sometimes about the virtues of kings, and sometimes for the more sophisticated audiences about the virtues of wine. For most audiences, however, I sing of love. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm back. Sorry about that. I just had to lower the music volume for one second there, as it is copyrighted music, and we cannot have that, just in case. <laughs> A lot of things going on about copyright nowadays. So, there we are. I think this is probably going to be fine. We'll have to deliver this wine. That is something we need to do, of course. But first, we will be attacking these band of robbers. Yes, I've been looking for you. Tell me where you keep your prisoners and I'll let you go. I brought powder and shot. Yes, we certainly did. Charge the enemy. We have 20, they have 3. I probably could have done this without recruiting those very specialized units, but I decided that it would be a rather cool thing if we could experience the new units together. I thought that might be quite nice. So, let's actually get these guys over here. I would have preferred that they were off their mounts, to be honest. I would have liked an entire rifleman battalion rather than a few cavalry units. That is for sure. Okay, well, at least I have my own rifle. And now the only unfortunate thing is is that I misclick a lot. But yes, the only unfortunate thing is is that the battle map does not exactly work to specifications, so we have to deal with it being a little bit static at the moment. Of course, if you do activate it and continue to activate the battle map, then it will update, but of course, again, this is still in development. So, there we are. That was a very easy victory indeed. I took out two of them myself with our amazing rifle, which is rather nice, and there is some better armor already. That was very quick indeed to actually attain that. Not bad at all. Okay, so we defeated those guys. And now I think it would be a good idea if I were to sell a few things so that I could potentially afford to continue onward. So I'm just going to sell all of these because as you can see we've now got 600 shillings. That should be enough for the next week's wages, or at least I hope so. And we will be selling all of this. I will keep these just in case. And I think that will be fine. There we are. Okay, so yes, as you can see, our weekly cost is 389, and we have 686. So thankfully, that should be totally fine to continue onward. And now we need to find the kidnapper's hideout. Where is that exactly? Hmm. I have somewhat lost it. Learn where it is. Find and defeat... Oh no, I believe this is probably bugged out. So we may not be able to do the merchant's quest, which is rather unfortunate. <laughs> well, I suppose that's what you get when it is an alpha mod. This is very, very early in development, of course, although they have done an amazing job. I believe it is only a very small team of people actually working on this, if even one person working on it. So do forgive them for a few minor bugs, not too bad at all. But anyway, I think it would be a rather good idea now if we were to find a few bandits. So what I will do is I will cut away and once I have found some bandits to fight, I will then cut back. Okay, so I have now encountered a few looters and we will be taking them down. As you can see by this artwork, it looks very amazing, doesn't it? Oh yes. Okay, so we have 15, they have 7. So we should be able to take them down. I did actually tell the dragoons to go home, as I would prefer to have an entire battalion of riflemen, as you can see. This should be quite cool to actually see them fire off. Now let's just take a look at the battle map and see where the bandits are currently moving to. Now, this is actually our baggage here, so it's not just a box on the floor anymore, it's actually a donkey, so that's quite cool. I do appreciate that. So let's see where they are. I think it might actually be rather nice if we were to get off our mount as well, 
and we could be in the firing line. That might be quite nice. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. I think what I will do actually is hold your fire. So let's hold our fire right now and let's move over to there a little bit. That might be quite nice. And I will actually modify my position a little bit over here. And let's do it, guys. Fire at will. Oh, yes. There we are. <laughs> and we're all reloading at the same time and firing at will and all that. Very nice. Not too bad. Get one. Oh, if only I could hit something with this. I really need higher long gun skill, don't I? Come on. Yeah, we actually killed something. 120 damage. Amazing. And this final fellow is going to be taken down. There we go. And we are very proud of our riflemen. They did such a good job. Oh, yes. There we are. One morale is our reward for that. Not too bad, of course. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay, apparently the previous fellow that we defeated was not actually able-bodied enough to fight us. Yeah. So now we will learn where the hostages are held and we may be able to head to their hideout. So, I will cut away once again. Oh, look at that. Very nice hat. Oh yes, now we look like a bandit ourselves. Okay. Well, yes, as I was saying, I will cut away and so, once we are back at the hideout, I will see you soon. Okay, here we go. We are now in the bandit's hideout, or should I say the kidnapper's hideout. And as you can see, we have a few of our troops being rather glitchy at the moment. I'm hoping that they are going to potentially follow me. Maybe I can order them to follow me. Yes, let's do that. F2 is a good button, I hear. So, yeah, there we are. Now they are following me. Good. Okay, so let's do it. Let's go, guys. I'll lead you into getting absolutely murdered, no doubt, because I am terrible at leading usually, so <laughs> let's hope that we have the fortune of the gods smiling upon us and so forth. So let's head through this rather elaborate ravine at the moment. As you can see, they've done a very good job on this environment. Very different from the native style of kidnapper hideouts. And we're having some rather epic music going along with it as well. Okay, I can only hope that our troops actually follow us rather sufficiently rather than being dawdlers and stragglers because I would not like them to be taken out, of course. Now, I'm assuming that what will eventually happen with the final release of this particular mod is that most of these bandit spawns would be on the cliffs and like for instance you saw that bridge over there they would probably be on that bridge shooting down upon the invaders which would be us and of course maybe at the top over there by that ladder because they'd probably be standing on that little ledge there that might be very nice and this fellow seems to be a rather good mountain climber as well as I say that so yes Now we will head over here, and there would probably be a few other spawns potentially here too, which would be quite nice. But as far as I know, there are a very small team, of course, working on this. So let us head up here and get stopped by a tree, of course, because that is what we do. Okay, so British Loyalist Recruit killed British Loyalist Recruit. Well, that is a paradox, if ever I saw one. So, here we go. Let's do it. Oh my goodness, that was a terrible shot. Of course. Yeah, that's a better shot. Oh yes, that's what you get. Okay, there's a guy shooting through the trees. Hopefully we can take him down. Yes, we can. Very nice. I am loving this rifle. Doing a very good job so far, and I'm hoping that my units will eventually catch up and hopefully help me out here. That would be rather nice. Oh, we have advanced to level two. That is always good. Okay, so I believe there are only... Oh, there's a few units over there as I say that. Aha, 
they are attacking our units, so I think I will tell them to charge in now, just so that they have the go-ahead to shoot and fire at will, of course. Hopefully they will take him down. Yes, they did. Very nice. And I am currently being shot at from up there. Hopefully we will be able to get a good shot on them. Like that. Very nice. Long gun skill is now increasing rather nicely as well. I can't complain. And boom. Oh yeah. Very nice shot right there. And I believe this will be the merchant's brother. And he seems to have the same flair for excitement as his brother does, yes. Yes, I told him that I would find you. I advise you to return to your family as quickly as you can, and be careful on the road. But of course, it would be a good idea if you paid me before you left. Of course, your brother will probably do that. So, what am I saying? We should just stay quiet and we'll get paid no matter what. Or at least I hope so. So, here we go. We have a few soldiers ready to upgrade now. And as you can see, we're getting a few British Third Foot Guard Light Company units, which is rather nice. And we have also leveled up too, as you can see, so I think we will go for... Let's see, hmm, this is difficult. One more in Intelligence, I think, and maybe another in... Uh, I would like Weapon Master, because that would increase my skills a lot faster. Hmm... Yes, we'll just go for Weapon Master, and then we'll also go for something like Engineer. We might do a Siege, who knows. And speaking of that, I am thinking that it might be quite a good idea to artificially enhance my progress so that I can show you a Siege with the most advanced units, and you can see how it actually goes, because of course everyone has rifles in this mod, and it would be quite interesting to see how that actually pans out, which would be quite cool, I think. And there we are. Ah, I see. This is one of these things where we have to defend the villagers. Aha. Okay. Yes. And what evidence do I have that you're not selling me porky pies? And now he says, Oh, well, I suppose it's possible that I found a dozen bandits who were willing to give their lives to give a passing stranger a false impression of life in old Montreal. Well, I guess you can't really know if my word is good. But I reckon you've learned by now that my money is good, and there's another hundred shillings, or maybe a bit more, that's waiting for you if you'll do me this last little favor. So what do you say? All right, I'll lead your men. Splendid. It's been a long time since I staked so much on a single throw of the dice. And, frankly, I find it exhilarating. My men are ready to move on your word. Are you ready? Yes. Give them the signal. I will be very ready indeed. I have my amazing rifle, which I enjoy using. Now let's just make sure we know which bandits will attack. Aha, this particular fellow right here. And, oh my goodness, someone shot me and... Totally messed up my shot. Great. That guy over there. Take him down. Oh, yes. And I'm being shot at again. Oh, those fellows. Take him down. And there's that guy over there. Yeah. And one more shot for this guy. Oh, no. Okay. Let's get out our saber. Do some damage. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And maybe we can charge this fellow. He's going to shoot. Oh, we can dodge that. Very nice. And slice him up. Oh, yeah. Yes, he's down. Anyone else around here? You never know. They might be hiding in the shadiest of corners. And this fellow is going crazy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, very amusing. Okay, so what's going on over here? Ah... There's one fellow up these stairs. We'll take him down as well. And I believe there will probably be one behind here as well. There he is. Hello. Do not shoot me in the face. Thank you very much. But now I will stab you. Yes, there we are. <laughs> Okay, so there we are. I believe that is it. The remaining few bandits scatter off to the town's narrow alleys, only to be hunted down one by one by the angry townsfolk. Making sure that your victory is complete and all the wounded have been taken care of, you and the merchant head to his house to review the day's events. Oh yes, here we go. Okay, so now let us speak to Rene. 
Yes, he's very enthusiastic indeed. Okay. So, let every villain fear the name, reformist. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, a couple of my boys have the watch captain pinned down in a back room with a knife at his throat. I'll need to go drag him before William Howe and explain what this breach of the peace is all about. You don't need to be part of that, though. I'll tell you what. If all goes well, I'll meet you in the tavern again shortly and let you know how it all came out. If you don't see me in the tavern, but instead see my head on a pike over the city gate, I'll assume you know enough to stay out of town for a while and forget this whole episode ever happened. So, hopefully we'll meet again. Yes, I hope so as well, Renee. Farewell. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so there is actually another tournament going on, but as we know, we have experienced that so far. And we still have this wine to deliver, actually, so I, instead I will sell all of this stuff. And then what I will do is make my way to the wine destination, I suppose, which is this particular town right here, which will be where? Now, that is the problem. We have to try and find it in a huge map such as this. Ah, it's all the way over there. Aha, uh -huh. okay, well, we're here, so it might take me some time to actually arrive. Okay, well, I will cut away, and if I encounter any bandits along the way, then, of course, I will cut back, and we will experience yet another battle. So, I will see you soon.